Hey guys, we fire 88 here, back with another demonstration video. Been a hot minute since I've done a, since I've recorded something in this spot, but here we go. I'm gonna try and start doing this again. But yeah, what we have here on the rig today is this 60 inch straight bladed brown contact commercial grade industrial ceiling fan. Malays. Just a big fan. Steel blades, if I'm not mistaken. It is from 06 of 95. There's your tag. Yeah. Neat looking fan. It's not one that I was on the out on like on the lookout for, but one of those came across on marketplace and a buddy of mine picked the uh three of these up actually. It was uh Tot 16 and he I let he let me buy one of them these contacts off of him. He got three of them and yeah. So I have the third one. The other two that he has are from 92, so they're like a few years older, which I think is a little interesting, but they all look the same and still do the same thing. The capacitor that used to be in this thing was an old, like, 4 microfarad capacitor. I have upped it to 6 microfarads, so it's a little, a heck of a lot faster than it used to be. But yeah, anyway, I will start this fan up on low here. Here's low. Sorry, I'm just messing with my tripod here, but at low speed for testing purposes, I do have it on a four speed non-capacitor base control. It's just a four-speed FASCO control. Simple as that. One thing I really like about how this, this fan looks is that it's very slim, which is very unique, because I really don't see anything like this around where I live too often, so yeah. Got a nice low speed on this control, that's for sure. Not really feeling a breeze yet because it's not, you know, whipping, but yeah. Medium low. Performance wise, this thing is all right. It's not like a top tier, like a gold line or a platinum line or anything of like anything like that. But does the job of moving air. But yeah, yeah. And this thing isn't like Westinghouse terrible. It's you know, middle of the road, affordable. I think you know. I think that's what these fans were back in the day. Now I'm starting to get a bit of a breeze from it, honestly. Mine does have a little scuff on the bottom of the motor. You might be able to see that from where the camera's at. All right, we'll go up to medium high now.
definitely going quick now. Getting a good freeze from it. Like, this thing is really not that bad of a fan. It's just they kind of suck low-key, but I don't know. I haven't really seen too many videos about these 60-inch contact fans. I know there's a few of them out there, but... Because I... And, yeah, there's only a few videos of these things because I don't think these things are found that often. Or they're not common, I should say. can barely see the blades on the camera now. <laughs> this thing's bearings are also pretty silent, which is a plus too. When I got this fan, this is about how fast it ran. It ran a little faster than this, but it ran... This is as fast as it ran. It did not run very fast, and now that I put a new cap in it, it runs a hell of a lot better. So, anyway, with that being said, here's high speed. Oop, it's off. Also, as some of you might notice, the uh, canopies are pretty, the upper and lower canopy are pretty much the same thing as a Envirofan silver line, so that's pretty cool. A nice strong breeze from it. I really just can't get over how slim this thing looks. We'll do what, what Dan Newman does with the any industrial fan. I don't even know if he still does this, but the distance test thing. It's not bad. I'm getting a light breeze from it over here. So yeah, these 60 inch contact fans are really not that horrible. Just gotta make sure the capacitors are still good in them. Just in my camera for the fourth millionth time. All right, and here is spin down. I have put uh, some Sum Spout in this thing, in these things bearings, or at least in the top bearing where I can, where you can access it easily. Just put this stuff in. If it'll even focus. But it's uh, meant for sewing. It's the Zoom Spout that's meant for sewing sewing machines. But I really don't think it matters. I think it's all I. I think it's honestly the same thing, but I could be wrong. So yeah. Big ol' spin down.
and this thing's got good bearings. Taking a minute to spin now. Most likely a scammer. Alright, so the fan has now come to a complete stop, and I will end this video here, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.